Well, welcome back, everybody, to Western Mass News. And what do you know? It's another gray day out there, no doubt about it. Uh, once the sun, I guess, ultimately rises, we'll see. Um, so welcome back, everybody. Glad to have you here. And Dan, welcome back. Yeah, welcome well. back. Yes, um, but it's not a first morning weather day. No, fine. Finally, not our first morning. I wish I could say the sun's going to come out and it's going to be a beautiful beach day, but clouds will be sticking around today. But at least we're not expecting much rain. Okay, Having that's said good. that, the radar says something a little different right now. I can't we actually wait have for your drought monitor. My drop say. monitor? Oh, oh forget it. It's cleared out, oh, right? Oh, it's going to be awesome. Of course, the drought monitor comes out every Thursday, and as of last Thursday, pretty much all of southern New England, with the exception of the Cape, has uh, certainly has not had to deal with the drought conditions. And wouldn't you know it, we're tracking some showers and even a couple little downpours that have cropped up. This one in particular that is out across the Mass Pike between, uh, let's see, exit three and two there, out towards the hill towns. Blanford right now, it's coming down pretty good along Route 20. It's moving through quickly though, and this is kind of headed towards Lower Hampshire County between Holyoke and Northampton. Maybe uh, West Hampton, South Hampton could get a brief downpour. And we have this uh, downpour too, right over the Mass Connecticut border. This is just south of Hampton. So this is gonna make its way th towards Hampton, uh, Hampton, Munson, Brimfield, Holland and Wales as it pushes through over the next hour or so. We're not expecting it to be raining all day, but still contending with a few of those downpours this morning. In Springfield right now, we're dry, but notice we have plenty of clouds to be had with a temperature of 65 degrees. We have dew points which are in the lower 60s right now. So we have temps in the 60s. We'll come up into the lower 70s today. And once we get through about mid-morning, we're not expecting much rain after that. The rest of the day, though, will remain cloudy, kind of that cool, muggy feel. 60s now, lower 70s later on. So that's the deal for today. Tomorrow will be brighter during the middle part of the day. It's warmer because of that, and we run the risk of maybe a couple of morning showers and then perhaps some afternoon and evening thunderstorms. So tomorrow may end up being a first warning weather day because a few of those storms late in the day could be on the strong to severe side. I think Thursday may end up being the pick of the week. It's going to be hot Thursday, but at least we won't be contending with rainfall the way it looks now. And you can see we have these scatterings of showers that are across the area of a front that's draped right across uh, parts of southern New England. Notice it didn't look like much, and then this brief downpour has just popped up over the hill towns. And again, that's riding off and headed towards Hampshire County. Behind it, we don't have a whole lot, and the bulk of the activity today in terms of storms is going to line up across New York and Pennsylvania. They're going to be other, on the other side of a cool front. We'll be on the cooler side of things today, and on the warm side of that front, those showers and storms. I think tomorrow, will be on the other side of the front, so we run the risk of storms late in the day. Here's our future cast. This brings it to about 10 o'clock this morning. I think we're just overcast. We're pretty much rain-free at that point. And again, even into the afternoon, we're not expecting much. It's across New York and Pennsylvania that the showers and thunderstorms are going to flare up. Late tonight into tomorrow morning, a warm front lifts through with a few showers and downpours. Then we'll see a little sun tomorrow. And then in the afternoon, probably after about 3 or 4 o'clock, we're going to see these thunderstorms popping up and that'll carry us into the evening. A few of those storms could bring those strong gusty winds, the heavy rainfall. That'll be the case tomorrow late in the day. Something we'll have to watch out for at that point. Today highs in the lower 70s with some sun tomorrow. We're in the lower 80s. Dew points all the way through will be in the 60s, so it is going to be muggy. Thursday we dry out in terms of rainfall, but it's hot and humid. We may be approaching 90 on Thursday, but we're not expecting much if any rainfall. So Thursday may end up being the pick of the week because we go right back to the chance of the, some storms late Friday. And right now the weekend looks unsettled with scattered showers around maybe a few thunderstorms not a washout but certainly have to keep the umbrella on standby the way it looks now all right that's your forecast we'll have more weather coming up in just a few minutes jordan taylor back to you